bright and early here uh, Saturday morning here in Nashville and the event don't actually start till 8 o'clock but uh, they're already letting people in so I got here bright and early and already checking out some cool rides see here uh, some of the uh, vendors are not even really set up this morning it's uh, bright and early one of the first ones through the gate here today and as you walk in you walk in right into the uh, vendors displays so right up there is the spectator stands at the Nashville Super Speedway. And right over here is the pit area. PPG set up here with a lot of uh, sample colors here. So you can pick out a color you like. Y'all check out the wheels on this Camaro right here. <laughs> Those are not actual wheels, y'all. Those are little uh, tiny rollers that you can uh, put on your project or just to make it easy to roll around the shop. Those are pretty cool. Be great to have just to make uh, things a little easier. Over here, you can see a project uh, in the works that's got those on it. Makes it uh, really easy. One of the things I really enjoy doing when I come to one of these bigger shows is getting here super early and just watching the cars roll in. Uh, it's one thing to see them sit still and uh, uh, parked and you can uh, kind of admire the craftsmanship and everything, check out the details and all the small stuff on them, but it's an entirely different experience when you see one roll by and feel the vibration in your chest and hear the rumble it's just a whole visceral experience. You can get egg, cheesy bacon, or egg, cheese, and sausage sandwiches. Man, I had one yesterday, they're fantastic. They got lemonade, iced tea, water. Um, later on, they're gonna be uh, grilling up some hot dogs, chili dogs. Let's go check out the swap meet and see if we can find some treasures. Here's a real deal still 1927 Ford Roadster pickup. One of the more interesting rides here in the swap meet area today is this 1958 four wheel drive GMC. Man, I just love this truck. Great shade of green, kind of pretty much original looking. It looked like the cab started out as maybe a fire truck or something. It's off of a bigger truck and they've custom built this bed back here in the back. I'm not sure what chassis that's on, but it's really cool. 
Another interesting ride over there is that Dodge. Looks like a power wagon. Again, four wheel drive. And it's for sale for $7,800. Here's a 34 Ford Roadster pickup. Got a liftoff style uh, Carson top on it. Well, the swap meet was a bust for me. A lot of cool stuff here, but just nothing I couldn't live without. Over here to the right is the Builder's Choice area. We're gonna go over here and check out some of these rides. Beautiful root beer brown metallic on this car. I like that. I saw this uh, Chevelle rolling in right here. It's kind of got a road race theme to it. favorites here today so far is this Bonneville style push truck and beside it this 2829 Model A two-door sedan with a flathead in it Offenhauser heads very traditional in styling check out that dash not sure what that's out of 
but it's very cool. This uh, car has even got fabric covered spark plug wires for a traditional flare. Very cool car. Guys having fun? bit of a vendor spotlight right here. This is Goolsby Customs and they bought, brought a trio of their vehicles here. One being this very tasty C10 pickup square body. This one is uh, notched in the back. Check out the way they done the bed right there. And it is uh, Got a spray in bed liner that is tinted to match the paint. Very nice. You can see a little bit of a highlight of it right here. All modern underneath the hood. Love the color combo on this truck. Over here is an in the works blazer. Again, a square body full custom frame under this one ls powered looks like it's got a nine inch rear end in it i love looking at projects like this that are still yet in the works you can kind of see all the details of what goes into uh, building it right here is my favorite though this is kind of a barn find survivor chevelle this car looks like it would have probably been a straight ship from the factory this is a super sport car i love the fact that they uh, kind of modernized the wheel combo there but yet uh, kept the original style hubcaps those little red line tires really work well with it under the hood it is supercharged lt4 powered what an awesome car even with the price of gas these station wagons are hot 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 right now this thing is a big old land yacht but it is super cool I am seeing more and more and more of these early Broncos around and they are bringing some huge money. This one is one gorgeous example. Anybody familiar with the Good Guys events knows that they have special parking areas. This section over here is the Tri-5 Chevy parking section. Uh, where you'll find all Tri-5 Chevys, 55, 56, and 57 Chevys all lined up in a row right here, parked together. There's some beautiful examples. I really dig this little yellow 55 right here. Not very often that you see a vinyl top on a Tri-5 Chevy, but it really works with this car. of the Tri-5 Chevy section right here. This is my favorite car. Just basic black. 
This car is mostly stock. But these cars were modern enough that uh, you could, uh, you know, have some comfort, comfort in driving them. Uh, and with that small block Chevy in there, the options of uh, engine swaps are endless with these cars. Gorgeous car. Forge line alloy wheels is set up here with a tremendous display of their wares right here today. Love this wheel right here with the traditional Nova hubcap on it. Great looking little Chevy truck right here. Not sure, but this truck looks like it may have been chopped just a little bit. One very unique feature about this truck is that they have shaved the speaker on the uh, dashboard right there, leaving only the glove box right there. It's a very unique look. Big block powered. Love that shade of green. Another one of the cool things here at the Good Guys event here today is they have a autocross track set up over there. You can hear the cars in the background uh, racing around the track. Here are some of the cars right here that's uh, entered into the autocross event. And you can go over there and watch them run around the track. Right here is the Speedway Motors Camaro. And as you can see right there on top, they've got their camera mounted. So I'm sure that if you go to their website, they'll have some coverage from the Good Guys show here today. A camouflaged 56 Ford F100 is not the typical autocross vehicle you'd expect to see. But right here it is today at the good guys Nashville Nationals looks like it could be on an S10 chassis but I'm not sure one of the really cool things here is you have full-blown autocross cars like these two Corvettes right here as well as uh, guys that's just building these in their garage for fun and they have classes for both you get right up here close to them in the pits and check out all the details of them up close. So that's really neat. Get out here and check out some rides. I'm really digging this Ford Coupe right here. Survivor paint on it looks like. Kind of a resto rod, mostly original looking on the outside. cool little Ford F100 right here. If I were guessing, I'd say this is on a Crown Vic chassis. Two of my favorite trucks I've seen here today is this little red 35 Ford and the C10 over there. Man, this is resale red love the body style on these trucks and here
here's a really cool C10 black satin, just basic steel wheels with the um, Nova style hubcaps. Just a real good driver looks like. And right over here we've got a 37, I think. Let's get around to the front. Ford two-door sedan. Great looking old survivor. Looks like it even has uh, perhaps the original lacquer paint on it. As you can see right there, the checking in the paint where it's been sun baked really nice little car what a cruiser this 1960 Pontiac Parisian it is slammed this thing must be on airbags one of my favorite things about these cars is the tail lights. I am seeing more and more late 70s and early 80s, even up into the mid 80s, cars showing up at these events, like that Oldsmobile Cutlass. And right over here is another example in this 1974. Oldsmobile Cutlass. This thing's been lowered nicely. It looks like it has the original paint on it. If you're looking for a daily driver or something that's not as expensive to build as a 32 Ford, for instance, this would be a great car. Very cool. Tons of trucks here today. Here's a long bed C10. I love that bed wood in it. Several Chevys in a row right here. And then there's a couple of Fords down here. Another little Bronco. Looks like this time a 69. Really dig this patina 66 Chevy C10. Big window custom cab. Check out those seats. Love those inserts. A lot of patina trucks here today. This looks like a 55. 54, 55, Ford F100. Kept this one all Ford powered, looks like. Great little Chevy 3100. Looks like he's got a mascot back here in the back. It's a dog that cleans up after itself. A dog, dog that cleans up <laughs> after itself. <laughs> I dig it, man. Electrolux, made out of an old vacuum cleaner. Dig the trunk. Five window cab. This is a an early. Chevy of this body style. It only has uh, the one piece windows. It does not have the divider right there for the vent window and it has a turned down door handle. So that tells me it's a 47 48 big block Chevy powered. Nice truck. Here's one that's a little more of a ratty rat.
probably my favorite wagon here today is this 61 Pontiac Safari Catalina. Man, this is a long roof wagon. Looks like this thing would be a ton of fun to drive. Kind of a satin metallic green right there. I don't know, that might be the original paint on this car. And I guess political rhetoric is nothing new. Man, what a gorgeous 1959 red, red, red El Camino. Got the polished American Racing Max salt fly specials on it. Carrying on with the red and white paint scheme on the dash and the steering wheel. Love the inserts in those seats. What a great car. Over here we got a nice display of drag cars. These three over here on this side uh, being uh, slingshot dragsters. Those over there are being a little later model. I love this display because it shows kind of the progression of uh, drag cars through the years. This one right here is powered by a V860. This car was originally built in the 60s and campaigned all across the southeastern United States. The dubbed the Shaken 60. This car set uh, numerous records, some of which still hold today. Over here, we've got a Buick Nailhead powered slingshot. A little bit later in design. Uh, these cars were still kind of primitive at this time. Check out these uh, wheelie bars made out of truck springs. And right over here we have just a little bit later uh, Hemi powered slingshot. And again, it kind of shows the progression of design of these uh, drag cars. Love the high crust racing slicks on the back of this car and over here again it shows the kind of progression of drag racing through the years hemi powered hemi powered hemi powered over here we've got the bruiser and over here, we've got the original Rat Trap. Awesome display of drag racing history right here.
a really unusual little ride right here. 1955 International pickup. This has got a 6.0 engine swap in it, LS. And this is sitting on a Trailblazer frame with a tilt bed. Very unique little truck. Here's a really unique little pickup. 1955 International. This has a 6.0 LS engine in it, sitting on a Trailblazer chassis. With a tilt bed back here in the back. Really unique little ride. Great trio of Chevys right over here. Starting off with this 1966 Nova. A little bit unusual in that it's got a six cylinder in it. HEI ignition. This is a straight shift car. Check out the inserts and in that upholstery. Man, I love this car. Plain old steel wheels with the Nova hubcaps on it. Lowered nicely though. It looks like it's got some widened rims back there in the back. Nice little C10 step side right here. Small block powered in this one. Air conditioned, twin snorkel uh, breather on this one. And I love this little gold C10 short short bed right here. Kind of a matte gold finish on it. 292 six cylinder in this one. And it has a Offenhauser intake on it holly four barrel carburetor dual exhaust i love that fin scoop on this one again it's got just the basic steel wheels on it with the original style c10 hubcaps mostly stock looking in appearance all three of these but just done really tastefully again straight shift in this one Nice black bedwood in this one for contrast with chrome strips. Just a gorgeous trio of vintage Chevys here. It's not every show you see a 1967 Buick Opal Cadet. In fact, I think this is the only one I've ever seen at a show and in person. But I found one here today at the Nashville Good Guys. Uh, Nashville Nationals here at the Super Speedway. It looks like a nicely restored one at that. Very unique little car. Killer little C10 right here. Great shade of green. Twin turbo, big block powered. <laughs> I'm calling BS on that one. Yeah, I'm definitely wearing Daisy Dukes. Really, really nice build here. Check out the bedwood in this truck. Very unique. These guys are dead and so am I. My battery's just about to die. Thanks for coming along, checking out some of the cool rides at the 16th annual Nashville Good Guys Nationals here at the Super Speedway. Till next time. Y'all get out there and build something. That's right. Y'all get out there and build something.